All right, so in these next few videos, we're gonna be taking a look at these different filters and these different buttons going across the top of our asset panel. To begin with, we're gonna take a look right here at our smart materials. Now, you may be asking, what's the difference between a smart material and regular, regular material? Great question. So if I put an aluminum material on this, you'll see there's an aluminum pure layer here. If I go into my smart materials and I add like this bronze armor, you're gonna see something different. You're actually gonna see a folder. And that's because smart materials are not just a single material file. They are multiple materials, multiple operations, all happening at once inside of a folder. So if I expand this folder, I can start to turn these off and see what's actually going on here. So I'll just turn them on one at a time. So for the first one is a base material. You can see there's already some goodness going on in here. I can go ahead and the go into the operations down here and turn these off. You can see that it's a base material with a fill with a grunge map on it and then a rough finish on top of that. On top, we can add some dirt operations, uh, some additional surface details, ed da edge damages, sharpen, anything like that. So this is what smart materials are. I think they're a great way to actually learn Substance Painter a little bit better. It's just to go ahead and just start dropping these on here and just seeing how somebody else has built up these kind of more complex shaders. So one of the major benefits of using smart materials is that you can build your own smart material library and share them with other people. Let me show you what I mean, I mean by that. So basically, if I'm building something here, and let's say, you know, I started, I started off in my regular materials and I just wanted some uh, gold and then I want to add a layer on top that's going to be painted and we'll just change out the color and then we'll add a mask here and like this is something that i know that i'm going to be using time and time again and we'll just throw a grunge map on here and then we'll throw some rust on here as a last little bit if i know that i have a bunch of files that are going to need this type of look to them and i want to start everything off this way I think a really great way is to create a smart material. And you do that by taking the operations that you have, collapsing them into a group. I'm just right clicking and clicking group layers. You can also do control G or select new folder up here and, and add them all into a group. And now I can add in and say, you know, call this rusty painted gold. And when I'm ready to create this as a smart material, all I have to do is right click on this say create smart material this will add this to my smart material library and now no matter what i open and whenever i open anything let me just open um, another character here and i can just drag and drop this on you can see that rusty painted metal material is now applying here and the great thing is is that you can now build out an entire huge library of your own custom materials and apply those uh, to your um, to your, your creature. Now, these are often you'll find these on ArtStation or Gumroad or other places and you can you can really build out a library of some pretty cool materials uh, to add to your scene. All right the last thing that I want to point out is if you want to share your smart mask with somebody all you have to do is go to your browser window here go into documents Adobe Substance 3D Painter, go into your assets. And by the way, this is where everything is stored inside of your asset panel. And you can look for smart materials. And then all I have to do is find that, uh, what I call it, rusty gold. Yeah, rusty painted gold. And I could share this file with anybody and it would pop up in there. Um, and all that, all that information would pop up on their end as well. So smart materials are shareable. They're very easy to work with and Next up, I'm going to show you our next one, which is Smart Masks, which are hopefully the same level of comfort and simplicity.